crummyapartment.com. Today we're going to be making a traditional Italian meat sauce. It's basically called a bolognese sauce. And the real bolognese sauce is virtually all meat, maybe just a little bit of tomato and vegetable, but you know the sort of the Canadian Americanized version has a lot more uh, tomato sauce to it. So that's the version I'm going to make. Okay, so let's just start with well, the pound of ground beef that I have. I, and the discoloration there is just because it is frozen. Uh, I got a whole onion, a couple cloves of garlic here. So let's start off with that. Now, as I did mention, bolognese sauce is a traditional Italian meat sauce. It also has pancetta in it, which is sort of pork meat. But instead, I have this bacon that's been sitting in my fridge for a bit. And so I'm going to use that as sort of that pork flavor in the meat sauce. But we're just going to chop that up really finely. In fact, everything we chop up here, including the onion and a little bit of celery. Some people put carrots in it, but I never really thought carrots are a great idea for a, a meat sauce, so I generally don't even bother with them. So everything's going to be chopped up fine. And I forgot to tell you, my mom sent me a new set of knives, so I'm going to be using those. She saw me using those cheap things on my videos and sent me some knives. So thanks, mommy. I mean, mom. Okay, so first things first, let's get this heated up. I'm going to start with the bacon because the bacon actually gives off, you know, some great uh, pork fat, which I will use to cook the whole sauce with. I'm going to go crossways on my uh, bacon here. Okay, here we go. Get that in there. Get that working. Okay, so that's good. The bacon's going to start cooking there. And in the meantime, I'm going to start chopping up my onions and garlic and celery. Have them ready for the sauce as well. Usually when I start to cook, you know, the pot and the pan are going on right away because something's happening on the oven and something's happening in my uh, on my countertop at the same time. That way you're trying to cut down your cooking time. I thought I had a wooden spoon. There it is. Ooh, strong garlic. Which is good. Alright, that bacon is cooking out a little bit. You know, everybody loves bacon. And bacon fat can be an amazing addition to the flavor, the, you know, the uh, compounding sort of layers in a sauce and that's why I like to start with the bacon and then I add my vegetables in the ground beef. I want my bacon to cook down a little bit more here because those pieces are going to be much smaller in the sauce. I don't really want them to sort of stand out and say, hey, I'm a piece of bacon. We want it to work into the sauce. All right, let me clean up this crap here. Where do I put this? Over here. Okay, that's good. You know what, for the celery, I'm just going to go right on the edge here, put some thin layers on the chips. Oops, let's give this a bit. Alright, I think that's ready now. That is uh, nice and browned, lightly browned anyway. Now I'm going to add my ground beef. I'll put my garlic and onions in here too, but let me just get this in. I'm going to keep stirring this around to break it down so that it doesn't fry up in clumps. Okay, we'll add the onions now. Lots of onions. Don't want to be shy with those. This might seem like a lot of work, but it's really not because once this sauce gets going, you know, you're just going to be basically uh, watching over it every few minutes for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. It doesn't need a lot of cooking. And I've got a couple cans of uh, tomato sauce here that I'm going to be using. I always look for these when I go grocery shopping because a lot of times they go on sale. So stock up. Get six or eight of them at one time. And, um, you know, this is one of the cheapest ingredients you can get. 
but you're always going to have something in your cupboard and you know something that you can make in an emergency but I always have some sort of tomato sauce in my cupboard at any given time where is my can opener go where's my can opener I totally remember using it for a beer where was I drinking and then Uh, the can opener was in my bed. <laughs> what the fuck? That's sick. Play cooking now. And since I bought lean ground beef, there isn't a lot of fat. If there was a lot of fat, I would tend to strain some of it off, but I don't think I'm really going to need to here. Drop in this celery here now. Now you might be thinking, we don't have a lot of Italian seasoning in there, but I have to add that now. So I've got a couple of things that I'm doing here. Got this uh, rustic Italian stuff that I got at Costco. That's a really good mix. Basic traditional mixture of uh, basil, oregano, rosemary, Italian parsley. I think there's even a few chili flakes in here. So this is going to give me my uh, sort of a rustic Italian angle. And I've been using this a lot as well. I think I got that at Costco too. Garlic Fiesta seasoning. That's going to make for some garlic flavor. Maybe a little bit of saltiness here too. So, the uh, reason I'm seasoning that is because the tomato sauce, as good as it is, they don't really have a lot of seasoning in themselves. I like that sauce to really sort of jump out and you say, wow, that's got lots of flavor. Now, I've also got a little bit of flour here uh, that I'm going to use because that fat, I want to sort of make it uh, uh, cook together as like I would be doing in a roux. Because I don't, when the sauce sort of starts simmering and cooking, I don't want that fat to sort of settle up on the top. And if any does, I can sort of skim it off. But this is sort of making it a stronger sauce base so that it has a nicer smoother consistency in the end. Now let me turn this down as we can go immediately to a simmer. I've got another can of tomatoes. I just want to sort of definitely going to be making a lasagna with this afterwards. flour in that so I can almost call it a vegetarian bolognese sauce now. This is gonna be awesome because that smells great right now and nothing's even cooked in it. Here's what we do now. Put the lid on, turn your oven down two or three and you let that rumble for 60 maybe 90 minutes. That's it. Top. Okay, so we'll come back when this is all ready and we'll give it a taste test. All right, let's try the bolognese sauce here. Honestly, that's pretty outstanding here right now. Just want to save some of these jars. This one I'll put in the fridge. I actually just talked about it in the video. I'm using the knives you sent me, so they, and they actually feel really good. Yeah, yeah, I like the feel of them. They're a bit different, you know, a bit lighter, but yeah. Okay. Mom, I gotta go, I gotta go. I got, like, shit burning around here, so bye. No, don't worry about that. No, no, no. Don't even talk to her. 
No. If she wants something, she can phone me.